Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to test fans inside a projector or really anything that uses a fan that has a tachometer lead on it. This is a Panasonic projector here that we're going to demonstrate on. We're going to measure using my Fluke and then we'll also measure using my Tektronix meter. Fans come in all different types, all different wire colors. One of the common colors that I see a lot is uh, this here, this red, yellow, and black. In this case, we'd have red for power, black for ground, and yellow is the tack lead. Sometimes you'll have red, black, and white. And they're always not in that order, too. Occasionally, ground will be in a different spot, power will be in a different spot, so this is not an across-the-board thing. Oh, in fact, as an example, here you go. Here's a... Uh, black, brown, and blue right next to a black, red, and white. And that's a blower fan. So this is an old uh, NEC. There's another one with uh, black, red, and blue. So we're going to test on this Panasonic here since it has all its bits. Now I have it already started. Um, the wiring connections you want to do uh, if you're using a multimeter is you want to make sure your negative is connected to a good ground point. In my case I have it wedged into the chassis here onto that metal plate so that gives it a good ground. And then for my scope, my uh, portable scope meter here, I have the ground clamped onto that screw which I know is a good ground point. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a couple fans to check. In this case we're going to check the lamp fan. Uh, lamp fan is fed off this set of wires here, which goes to that spot. Then we have the power supply ballast fan, which is right there. And I know there's uh, probably another couple fans in here, but those are the two we're going to work on for right now. So what we need to do first is identify which wire is what. We have yellow, brown, and black. Black is usually ground. But you don't want to assume that, otherwise you may find out you're wrong in a bad way. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to measure all three. I'm trying to get that to focus a little better. Let's see, can I get that to focus? Not really. Hmm. Zoom maybe? Maybe not. Now that lamp is really getting in the way. Let me see if I can block that light a little bit. Make this not quite as obnoxious for the camera. Okay, so we're going to start on these guys right here. So I'll start with the first pin. 1.6 volts. That's probably the tack lead because it's a low voltage. We'll go to the center pin. That's nothing. That's ground like I suspected. And then the further or other outside pin is... Oop, come on. There we go. 7.5 volts. So that's the power to the fan. So that means the first one is the tack lead. So now that I know there's power going to the fan, I'm going to go right to the tack lead. And I'm measuring 1.6. And if you look can see the analog part underneath is jumping. That tells me it's likely pulsing. Uh, one thing you can do is actually go right to AC. Oops, not off. Go to AC and you should see the same thing. Now it's putting out a square wave so depending on your meter that may or may not work. It's a true RMS so this one can read it. Um, but ideally you want to have an oscilloscope. We're going to use my scope meter here because that will do it just fine. So like I said, I have that connected to the ground, ground wire. So I'm going to go right to the tack lead and we should see a nice square wave, or a decent square wave. And we do. We have a decent square wave of, let's see, one, two, three, about five volts. Five volt square wave with about, yeah, yeah, five volts. So this tells me that the fan's working. Uh, if you were to connect this up and get nothing, or if you were to connect this up and get straight DC, like no pulsing whatsoever, 
uh, that would tell you that either the fan is not spinning and if it is physically spinning then that tells you that the tachometer circuit inside is not working now if you can't see the fans if it's a blower fan an enclosed fan something like that and you see that that's no good that's five volts that fans not spinning I just stopped that with my finger and started it back up so now you can see and that should spread out a little bit once it gets back up to speed yep there we go so that tells me that fans good there's another fan in here too let's see how that one checks out for the power supply now not all projectors have test point pins this is a Panasonic so I'm lucky uh, sometimes you have to go right to those headers and you got to be careful you don't short it out so here on the front one sure enough 1.6 volts ground yep and then probably gonna have about seven let's see yep 7.6 volts so that means I do the same thing with the scope Get that light out of the way we should also get another square wave which we do so that is how you test a fan, a tachometer fan, uh, inside any projector. It doesn't have to be LCD like this one. It could be a DLP, DILA, whatever. As long as it has three wires on it, you'll be able to check the tack. If there's four wires, that means there's a temperature feedback too. I'll cover that in another video because I'm not working with that here. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, any suggestions, leave it in the comments. Uh, please subscribe and let me know if you want to see anything in particular. Thanks for watching.